I wanted to make it look like some text was rising out of this water, and I knew that I needed a mat, M-A-T-T-E. Turns out Motion calls it a mask. Now that I've figured it out, it's pretty easy. Here's my Motion project with the text animated over my background plate. I'll assume you know how to make text objects and animate them. If not, well that's a subject for another video. We don't want it coming from the bottom of the frame like this, so let's get a mask object. We need to apply it to the text layer, which is above the background video or plate, otherwise it might mask the wrong thing. Notice that selecting a text object won't let us make a mask because it isn't a layer, but a group is a layer. Click and hold on this mask icon and select a rectangle. Sweep it out to about the size and location we want. Hey, look, it's masking, but not the way we want yet. We could drag it up so that the bottom of the mask is where we want the text to appear, but let's do it this way. Select the rectangle mask, go to the inspector and select the mask tab. Look for the mask blend mode pop-up and change it from add to subtract. Now we have a box that blocks the text. Getting there, but that hard edge is ugly. Again, select the mask, go to the inspector and tweak the feather control. Now we have a nice soft edged mat. Here it is without the guides on. And once again, the exported result. This is the same trick I used to wipe on and off the text in my logo at the beginning of this video. It's just that easy. I hope this was helpful. I'm Craig Good. And thanks for watching.